Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve a word problem using models on whole numbers. So the question is, Mia, Neil and Olivia had a total of $160. Neil had eight more dollars than Mia and Olivia had five times as much money as Neil. How much money had Mia? Okay, so we have to find out how much money Mia had. And what we are given is Mia, Neil and Olivia had a total of $160. That Neil had $8 more than Mia and Olivia had five times as much money as Neil. Okay, there are too many people, too many numbers, too many relations. So what we are going to do is draw a model diagram first. Okay, so let's draw a model for the amount of money that Mia has got. Let's say that this block here, this box, represents the sum of money that Mia has, okay? Then how much will Neil have? Well, Neil has got $8 more than Mia. So obviously his bar or his block is going to be a little longer than Mia's block. So say this is Neil's block here. Then what does that tell you about this part here? This part here. Well, this part here is the difference in Neil's and Mia's money. So that is equal to $8, right? Because we know that Neil has got $8 more than Mia or Mia has got $8 less than Neil. So this part here, this block is equal to $8, the difference. Let's put some color in it. Okay. So then, now who's the third guy? The third guy is Olivia, the third girl. So Olivia has how much money? Olivia had five times as much money as Neil. That's simple. So we just put this pink bar five times. Okay, let me just copy it and paste. So one, two, three, four, and five. So Olivia has five times as much money as Neil. So this is Olivia's money. Now what else do we know from this model diagram? That, or from the word problem, that they have $160 altogether. So Mia, Neil and Olivia, they have $160 altogether. Now that excludes this dotted part here, okay? Remember that. It's just this little pink block and these six pink blocks of the same signs. Okay, now Mia, Neil, and Olivia have $160 altogether, and that excludes this $8 over here, okay? Excluding this part. Then, if you include this part, how much money would they have altogether? Well, if you were to include this $8, then altogether they would have $160 plus the $8, right? Now, suppose that Neil's block is one unit, okay? We consider Neil's block is one unit, then we count how many units there are, okay? So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there are six units of equal size. And if we take Mia's unit also as the same size as Neil's, then we'll have to add eight dollars to that, okay? So let's assume that this is one entire block, the same size as Neil's block, okay? This is not Mia's amount of money, the sum of money that Mia has, but let's just suppose that she has this sum of money, we'll subtract $8 from it later on, okay, when we find out how much money had Mia. But for now, just assume that Mia also has the same amount of money that Neil does, okay? Then we can call her block or her unit as the seventh unit, right? So altogether, there are seven units and they equal $168, right? $160 plus the $8, the difference between Mia and Neil's money. So they are equal to $168. So seven units are equal to $168. So then how much is one unit equal to? But obviously one unit is equal to $168 divided by seven. And that is equal to, let's do 168 divided by 7 to 14 to 8, 4. So each unit is equal to $24, right? So Neil's money is equal to $24. This part here is equal to $24. Then how much money does Mia have? Well, if Neil's 
Neil has got $24, then Mia will have $24 minus $8, right? Because Mia has got $8 less than Neil, or Neil has got $8 more than Mia. So then Mia will have will have 24 minus 8, right? So Mia will have $16, right? So the answer to the question, how much money had Mia is 16. Mia had $16, all right? So that's that about this word problem. For more word problems and for more practice exercises, as usual, don't forget to visit www.homecampus.com.sg. Okay, do practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye bye.